and next tonight we're raising a glass to a village pub in Barnborough in South Yorkshire. The coach and horses looked likely to be gone for good just a few years ago, but it's been revived and restored and even won a medal. Tom's rolling out the barrel for us there now. Good evening, Tom. <laughs> good evening, Keely. Mine is certainly a large one. What the door here in the car park, the beer garden at uh, Barnborough at the coach and horses. Quite a few patrons in the beer garden on a Tuesday night, which I think is the sign of a thriving business. Particularly remarkable for this place because, as you say, a few years ago, it was shuttered and looked like it had gone completely. Now it has been revived, and expertly so. And if you think the outside of this 1930s building is handsome, well, take a look at the inside. What's in a pint? Well, if your local is anything like the coach and horses, all those tiny bubbles are the fizz of history. And the place was pretty derelict. The roof was caved in at one end. And we just painfully went through it and tidied the bar up and tried to keep the character in it. All this is original and we've just renovated it all and carefully tried to not take off the patina that it's got on. And it's so special. You really feel the touch of history there. And this glass here is all original. This was the logo of the original uh, brewers that owned the place in 1936. And quite unusual for this space to be completely disconnected from the rest of the pub. It's not open plan in any way, is it? No, it isn't. And we weren't allowed, obviously, to take any walls down. And, and this is the design of the pub. This is how it was designed. Now, you can make the glass gleam and polish the parquet floor all you like, but that's only half the job of reviving a pub. Running it against the background of boozers going broke is quite another. With the uh, economic crisis, there are people having to uh, watch it. Well, we are too, but, uh, uh, yeah, I hope it survives. Everybody's really supportive because it is transformed from what it was before. It was a pub that was dying. And, you know, died, what, it? what Gordon's done with the inside is just uh, outstanding. The proof in the pudding to start with is whether the community supports it or not, whether it's attractive to the community. I hope that people from Doncaster and Roundabout and Rotherham will come here and look at it and just see what, what it's like, taste the experience, that's the important thing. The campaign for real ale has just bestowed a national conservation award on the coach and horses as part of the Don Valley Brewery's slowly expanding collection of hostelries, this pub is almost back where it started in the 30s, a small local concern for the benefit of its community. The local community is something we're very uh, pleased to keep in with and, and, and want to be proud of what we've got in the village. I mean, this was a pub really that was dead and gone. And and now we've, we've, we've brought this back. And it's like I said, it's not just money with us, it's, it's the fact that we've saved something. Something we can perhaps all drink to. Tom Ingle, BBC Look North, Barnborough. Absolutely.